free throw line was kind of talking post game um, with the Oakages, 18 free throws. Um, Steve kind of had a broader point of things. He said they're legislating defense out of the game in some ways. I mean, what's just kind of your general overarching thought on, on, on how games at times are? are uh, I mean, it, it does cater to the guys that can sell calls. They're, and, you know, when there's physicality, it, it's tough because it's inconsistent at times on either side, just what is, like, what's the tone of the game. And from game to game, it changes. That's the nature of basketball. But, like, a night like tonight where you feel like there's physicality on one side and then kind of tiggy tack on the other, and then they get into the bonus and it changes the complexity of the game. <clears throat> and especially, you know, it's not like we don't foul. I'm not saying that. It's just consistency is is key when it comes to understanding how you can defend in the game and I know what coach is talking about so it was it was tough tonight slowed the whole game down obviously he made every free throw and um, you know changed the momentum played into their hands and you know, until things change you obviously have to adjust but it was frustrating It just it, it's it's more frustrating because we were still we had what was a one point game with six minutes five minutes left something like that so you know we played well enough despite the way I shot the ball um, you know are we 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 still had a chance to win so you those are the the tough ones to swallow when you didn't play as well as you could have or as efficient as you could have defensively. Throughout the course of the game, gave yourself enough of an opportunity. Our second unit was phenomenal again tonight, um, but couldn't open the game up because the game was slowed down. So, a uh, good lesson to learn when we face you know them again. We know Jokic how he plays, um, and we should be ready for the next one. He gives us uh, a huge boost. I mean, we've talked about it a lot. He applies pressure to the rim. He's knocking down open shots defensively, understanding you know where he's supposed to be, how to guard on and off the ball, and he just plays at a different pace that is fun to watch. So gives us a lot, and you know, I know me and him tonight. <laughs> Terrible plus minus, but you start to find a chemistry of, you know, where to get him the ball, how he can attack, and him being able to use his athleticism and his, his ability to play one on one when it when necessary, but also can play that warrior basketball, read and react stuff, and he's gotten a lot better at that too. So it gives us a lot. How big do you view the next seven games? I mean, it's huge because it'll give us uh, hopefully some breathing room. You know we've been uh, you know, chasing that 500 number. We were there for, <clears throat> for for one game, but protecting home court, taking advantage of the schedule. I you know we play some good teams, but it can give us some breathing room to you know. Again, to establish our identity, who we are, understand that you know, we don't want to be chasing too much later in the season. And we're going to hopefully infuse some guys back into the lineup at some point. So that'll be, uh, that'll be key for us. But big stretch. Uh, you know, before tonight, we took advantage of that home stretch, and we got to do it again.